Here we are unboxing the new Sony cells. We ordered 40 of these. They were expensive as crap. I don't think this is the original packaging. Uh, from what I know, Sony cells is usually packed in boxes of 50. Yeah, this might actually be an original Sony box. Yeah, it's definitely the original box. It's the exact same size. This is the VTC6 and this is the 7. And we only ordered 40, so they're taking out 10. But they included the original box. Okay, they don't look any different. So, that's kind of disappointing. It would have been cool if there were another color or something at all. Okay, the text is a little bigger than your text. And also the um, code is a little different size. And here you have the QR code. It's not a QR code, but it's a dot matrix code. There's a ring here. It doesn't... It looks like it ha may, might have been tested in some machine or something. But otherwise they're, they're identical, except for the text size. But it was quite a bit ago VTC6 was released, so... They are about 3.48 volts on charge, factory charge. Uh, so this is gonna take a while. We probably won't have them charged up by today's end even. Gonna take like 5 or 6 hours I think to charge them completely. They're a bit cold but not negative degrees, they're maybe 10, 10 degrees because it's cold outside. And they've been on a truck all day. They've been charging for two and a half hours now. And we're gonna quit for today. So we check in again tomorrow. Uh, it takes time to fully charge these high capacity cells. They should probably land at about 1800 milliamps or so before they're completely fully charged. But we won't know until tomorrow. Sony cells have usually been associated with high current but low capacity. And most cells can handle about 30 amps and has a capacity of about 1500 to 2600 milliamp hours. The VTC6 had a capacity of over 3000 milliamp hours and was rated by some at 30 amps. But it later turns out it was actually only rated at 15 amps continuous and 30 amps peak. However, all other major brands, including Panasonic, Samsung, Sanyo, and LG, have released high capacity cells at about 3500 mAh, making Sony slightly behind in the high capacity race. However, now, out of nowhere, they have released the VTC7, which has a rated capacity of 3400 mAh. The datasheet for this cell has actually been around for almost two years in different forums. It was lost revised in February 2016 and it's true that the cell has a nominal capacity of 3500 mAh and a minimal of 3.4. Otherwise it's all pretty standard. But at low discharge, 0 0.68 amps, it has a it has over 3600 milliamps in capacity according to the graphs. It should still have 70% of the capacity left after 350 cycles at 1 amp charging and 5A discharge, which is comparable to other high capacity cells. However, we believe this cells is the current champion among the high capacity cells, so we have bought 40 of these for testing. And we will tell you more about those in an upcoming video.